Throughout 2019, I uploaded almost 60 different Can You Beat videos. Some were a gentle stroll through the park, and others were like pushing an unconscious rhino up a flight of stairs covered in grease. With so many being a horrendous experience that still haunt me to this day, I thought it would be fun, and very 2020 of me, to take a look back at my 10 hardest Can You Beat challenges of 2019. Number 10. Can You Beat Fallout New Vegas' Lonesome Road DLC without taking any damage? This is effectively New Vegas' endgame DLC. It wraps up the story that's hinted at in the base game and previous DLCs. As such, high-level enemies with powerful weapons and death claws are common. Hell, to even get into the thick of the DLC, you've gotta fight your way through a bunch of sentry bots. It probably didn't help that I set myself up to level 25 and went in with only the base weapons you get from the installed DLCs. Enemies don't scale with your level, but your level can impact what kind of enemies you find and what weapons they have. Number 9. Can you beat Halo 3 without taking any damage? The majority of this run was not that bad. Frustrating at times, but nothing crazy. If you've played Halo 3, you can probably guess what the hard part was, and it's the only reason this challenge made it onto this list. The penultimate mission, Cortana. This one mission was probably the single worst portion of any challenge run so far, certainly the most time consuming at over two and a half hours. There were an absurd amount of flood in every area, attacking from all directions. Your options are limited for weapons. Couple that with the infrequent checkpoints that can cost you a significant amount of progress upon taking any damage, and you're in for a very, very bad time. Number 8. Can you beat Fallout New Vegas with only Euclid's Sea Finder? Going into this one, I fully expected it to be a pretty simple challenge. I didn't know a whole lot about the Sea Finder. All I knew was that it called down a beam of energy from the sky to blast anything you pointed at. And it does do that, but the blast itself is pretty unimpressive. This gunrunner was not all that far from the blast, and he barely took any damage. Then there's the fact that the weapon itself is probably the buggiest thing I've ever used. Most of the time it gave me more ammo almost immediately after firing, which isn't supposed to happen, and it frequently just stopped working outright. Nothing I could do would fix it. According to a comment on the video, there's a way to fix it, but that doesn't help me now. I had to restart the playthrough after a few hours, and even after only firing the Sea Finder a few times in that new playthrough, it still broke. Number 7. Can you beat Fallout 3 with only a BB gun? Ah, the BB gun. The worst weapon Fallout 3 has to offer. I don't think I really need to explain why this run was tough. The BB gun sucks. It took at least 15 shots to kill a basic, no upgrades, no fancy hats, no bullshit super mutant. Out of the vault, you've only got about 50 BBs, assuming you didn't waste any of them inside. There aren't very many vendors that sell them, and the few that do are a ways away from Vault 101. Number 6, Can You Beat Fallout 4's Nuka World DLC without taking any damage? I would consider this to be an extreme example of the difficulty of a challenge not necessarily coming from the challenge itself. Killing enemies without taking any damage generally isn't too difficult. Just use the most powerful weapon at your disposal, attack from a distance, and you win. But in Nuka World, everything is a high-level enemy. Even going into it with a level 26 character stocked with legendary weapons and armor, it was not easy. It took Jet, Psycho, and a Fat Man to kill one of the park's bosses. Another took explosive submachine gun shots, like a cement wall being punched by a drunk 4-year-old. To be fair, I was still 4 levels below the recommended level. Going into anything below the recommended level is a recipe for shit. Number 5. Can you beat Fallout 4 by only using each weapon once? In theory, this run wouldn't be that bad if you planned ahead, looked at each weapon available, thought about where to get it, knew how many enemies you had to kill to beat the game. You could do this without any issue, at least without very many. I didn't do that. I had a list of most weapons available in the game, but I really just winked it. Towards the end, it became a real pain in the ass to have all these weapons at my disposal as since began swarming Liberty Prime without being able to use any of them. Or, what was worse, having weapons that I could use, but I insisted on saving them for later in case the situation came up that required them. Fun concept, annoying execution because I suck. Number 4. Can you beat Borderlands 2 by using every weapon you find? On the surface, this wouldn't seem like it would be very difficult, but you'd be wrong. This challenge, more than any other, relies almost solely on luck for how difficult it is. You could do this run a thousand times, 
and besides the first level or two, you'd have a completely different run every time, and that's where the difficulty comes from. You'd normally play to an enemy's weakness with a different elemental weapons. You switch to a new gun when you run out of ammo, but you can't do that here. The weapon you go into a boss fight with pretty much determines how hard that fight is. The bunker fight was easy because I had a rocket launcher, but the gluttonous thresher was a nightmare because I went into it with a shit pistol. For whatever reason, Borderlands 2 is a game that can go from fun to infuriating in about 2 seconds. Being underleveled, stuck with a bad gun, and being too stupid and stubborn to go to a different area to find a better one is what made this one of the most challenging videos I've ever made. Number 3. Can you beat Fallout New Vegas with a Guitar Hero controller? You might be surprised that this isn't lower on the list because, I mean, it's a fucking Guitar Hero controller. But to be honest, it was easier than I anticipated. Your inputs are significantly hindered by the number of buttons at your disposal. Very basic things like fast travel or looting an enemy's body become incredibly difficult, if not impossible, with the Guitar Hero controller. However, if you know your way around the Mojave Wasteland, you can think of routes to take to avoid a lot of the tougher creatures. The borderline overpowered speech skill makes the end of the game an almost non-issue. And the DLCs give you solid starting weapons and armor, so that if you do have to fight something while using the Guitar Hero controller, you have a solid chance at winning. Number 2. Can you beat Fallout 3 without attacking anything? This run was probably the most difficult from a technical level. There are a couple quirks with the game that make it a real pain in the ass to do. The first is the Radroach in the lower level of Vault 101. The game expects you to kill it, you have to kill it to proceed normally. You can escape the vault without doing it, but you're a child, which adds a bunch of restrictions to what you can't do that ultimately ends with you not being able to beat the game at all, because you can't get the vial of FEV from President Eden. If you want to beat Fallout 3 without attacking anything, you have to escape the vault as a baby using a glitch. Playing Fallout 3 as a baby is a real challenge in and of itself as you're slower than a turtle in a field of peanut butter. There are a few tricks that you can do to beat the game quicker than normal, but getting into the correct position to pull them off as a baby isn't easy. This was one of the Can You Beat videos I've made that's really about whether it can actually be done or not. Weapon restricted challenges can almost always be completed, it's just a question of how bad the weapon is. This one was completely different. I would assume that someone more familiar with speedrunning like Tomato Angus would have had far fewer problems with this run than I did. An honorable mention goes to Can You Beat Skyrim With Your Hands Bound. I put it here because it doesn't really count. It's impossible to do for a bunch of different reasons. You can't fast travel, you can't equip any weapons or armor, you can't open any doors, you can't use any shouts, you can't talk to any NPCs, you can't use any spells or healing items, you can't do much of anything. Really, all you can do is walk around, sprint, crouch, jump, and pause the game. Another honorable mention is Halo Reach without taking any damage, but only because of how traumatizing it was to edit that video. The death counter itself took hours to add, and that plus the timer fucked with Final Cut Pro, what I used to edit just enough to introduce a bit of lag. Imagine you're doing something on a computer, but everything from clicking on a link to typing to turning up your volume is on a quarter of a second delay. That was, without a doubt, the worst experience I've ever had editing. Number 1. Can you beat Doom 2016 with only a pistol? While I've put it at number one, Doom was not challenging in the way you might be expecting. The biggest problem was how absolute shit the pistol was even when it was fully upgraded. If you hit the weak point every time, a mancubus would take something like eight fully charged shots to kill. That doesn't sound so bad on its own, but every enemy is like that. Some take more damage and move rather slowly and some take less and are faster, but they're all more time consuming to kill than you'd expect from a monster in a Doom game, besides a boss fight. The other problem was that you don't get checkpoints until an arena is clear. Towards the end, that becomes so fucking demoralizing. You just spent 8 minutes frantically moving all around the map, landing perfect shot after perfect shot after perfect shot, only to make a stupid mistake and have to do it all again. Then again, Bite Me did it on Ultra Nightmare mode in less than half the time it took me to do it on the easiest difficulty, so I'm probably just being a whiny bitch. Those were the toughest challenges I did in 2019. I'm hoping that 2020 will have a challenge that will quite literally kill me. 
like beating Fallout New Vegas while skydiving, or beating Elmo's Letter Adventure while being eaten by a snake. Maybe one of those things happens, maybe it doesn't. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. Thanks to the Champion Tier supporters, as well as other channel members, for helping make videos like this one possible. Join the Mitten Squad Discord server through a link in the video description. Follow me on Twitter, at Mitten Squad. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a day.